Uh, normally, uh, at the, well not normally, at this point we have what's called the consent agenda and that's where we tend to uh, stuff a lot of things. Uh, in this case today, all we have in the consent agenda is the approval of the minutes, but we, it's not uncommon for us to have resolutions in there that have been uh, held to be resolutions that do not necessitate a thorough explanation. You'll always have a copy of those resolutions. They tend to be lower. What's our dollar cutoff? Is there one? It it's different levels for different yeah. types of contracts. Okay. But uh, we haven't had any problems with the consent agenda in more than a decade. But at any point in time, any board member is free to ask that any item contained within the consent agenda be pulled and uh, be uh, given uh, uh, more time, more airing. So with that, I would ask for a motion on the consent agenda. So moved. A second? Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? All right, we'll begin the resolutions. Resolution 10306, authorizing the contract for investment advisory services. Mr. General Manager. Um, thank you, Mr. President, board members. Um, as Beth outlined just a little bit ago, um, the pension uh, funds that we help, uh, hold um, are obviously key to many of our financial uh, elements. There are two separate trust funds. Uh, they are one for um, the union uh, employees covered by the union contract, um, and a second for uh, the management, uh, uh, the, the pension funds for the management. Now, there are differences between the two. If you think about uh, it, the, the, uh, the management, or pardon me, the union uh, fund is an ongoing uh, defined benefit plan and that there is underlying assets are very important to be able to ensure uh, the payment of, uh, uh, of uh, the uh, obligations for, uh, for those pensions. On the management fund, although it has been a defined benefit plan, that was closed uh, in May of 03. I want to say, Brian, is that right? April of, uh, uh, of 03 from a defined benefit plan uh, to a defined contribution plan. The uh, advisory services that we are asking for um, are, uh, that are covered by this uh, cover the two uh, trusts that are for uh, the uh, union uh, employees and for the defined benefit plan for uh, management employees. Um, an RFP was issued, uh, uh, seven different firms uh, convened for it. Uh, Pension Consulting Alliance, PCA, uh, was determined by the uh, trustees uh, to be able to be the best uh, choice, and uh, uh, they are recommended, their prices are competitive. Uh, board member Blairbach uh, is the representative from the TriMet board on the trustees, um, and may want to make a comment about uh, this selection as well. But the decision uh, was uh, on that trustees, three from the union, three from management, uh, with uh, board member Blair Bach, even one of the three on the management side, was a unanimous recommendation to you to be able to adopt this. But board member Blair Bach? No, I, I concur with uh, you. You said it all, Chris, but we did go through a lengthy uh, interviews with uh, about seven different uh, firms that were all qualified, but we all came down to a unanimous consent on the, on the one firm, and I thank Beth for putting that all together. The uh, process went as well as it could. Yeah, thank you, Beth. So I move adoption, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Move to the second. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 